Hey, good morning, everyone. Sorry for the little snafu earlier. Can everyone hear me out there? Are we doing all right? We had a little scheduling conflict. And uh, anyway, we're here. That's what matters. That's what's important. Uh, good morning. Where everyone? Where is everyone today? My name is James Spencer. I'm in Seattle. I am happy to be part of the WESIS um, event we're doing. And we'll be bringing on our ladies in just a moment. Just wanted to get everyone hyped up. What do we got here? Tennessee, California, Alberta. Nice. So most, so mostly daytime for everybody. It looks like. Um, cool. Yeah. So and we'll be asking a bunch of questions. If you uh, guys, or you can ask questions. Excuse me. And if you want to just throw out where you're from in the chat, like when you ask the question, then we can be like, you know, hey, so and so from North Carolina asked about this, and it's all good. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna bring on the ladies, the actual important people. Uh, two of my good uh, co-workers, teammates, I love them to death. I learn from them all the time. Uh, Miss Maya Flores and Keisha Hyams. I will be bringing them on right now, and then they will be taken over from here. And I'm just going to sit on the sideline, kind of keep chat going, make sure we get all your questions. So first, uh, Maya, good morning. How are you? How are we doing hey. today? Yeah, good morning. I'm doing awesome. And Miss Keisha. How are Hello. you doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. What a wonderful day. Good, good. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Like, we were told we were supposed to be on the actual game day channel. And then when we went to the game day channel, they're in the middle of a world championship. And it's kind of like, well, we can't be like, get off the world championship. <laughs> it's a little, you know, so we got to do what we got to do. That's the AWS thing. Be scrappy. Do what, you, do what you can with the best you got. So this is what we're doing right now. Uh, anyway, I'll turn it over to the ladies. Would you like me to throw up your um, your deck? Yeah, can you put those slides up? Yeah, sure. There awesome. we go. Yeah, so I'm glad y'all were able to join us. I know we had some hiccups. I'm seeing where everyone's from the comments. Tennessee, uh, New York, Houston, Arkansas, Durham, from all over. This is so exciting. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, this is the WESIS and AWS Game Day participant kickoff webinar. Um, will this be recorded, James, our moderator? Are you recording this? Yeah, we can. Um, it'll be saved for about two weeks on this channel as just a regular VOD. And then I can also uh, clip it as a, or highlight it and save it permanently. Also, um, our, our OBS system, I can actually go ahead and download it and we can like put it in YouTube or a, some sort of cool S3 bucket, throwing out those those services already at you. Uh, and maybe, you know, we can distribute it some way. So yeah, we'll be, it'll be around. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll take care of it. We'll get it to you. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, let's get ready to make the world a safer place. Let's get started. Um, so this is a little bit about the team. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. sorry, lot, lots of technical difficulties today. We're glad you're, <laughs> you're sticking with us. Um, so yeah, this is about the team that's kind of putting this event together. I'm Maya Flores. I'm a partner solutions architect here at AWS. And also on the call, we have Keisha Himes and James Spencer, who are both partner solutions architects on my team. We're all the in front of the scenes today, but behind the scenes, we have like a really great team working to pull this event together. So everyone on the slide has been working um, to get the event going, so yeah. And now I'm just gonna talk about a little bit of a game day overview in general for those who haven't participated in game day. In the chat, can I see if anyone's a first time game day player? So, um, or anyone who's played a game day before, let me know. Um, but we're gonna go over kind of what a game day is um, and how it's organized. Awesome, yeah, I see a lot of first timers. So this will be really exciting. Wow, okay, tons of first timers, that's awesome. Unicorn Rentals, represent. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so what is a game day? A game day is a interactive team-based learning ex exercise that's kind of designed to give participants the chance to put their AWS skills to the test in a real world gamified risk-free environment. Most important, it's super fun <laughs> and it's a really great way to learn collaboratively. Um, you're gonna be put into teams and you're gonna get to work with that team to solve a bunch of challenges. And what kind of makes a game day different from a traditional learning experience is that we kind of step outside the boundaries of a workshop or a lab, which kind of give you step-by-step -step instructions. They're like, number one, go to AWS. Number two, go to the EC2 service. Number three, create an instance. Game days aren't like that. It's more open-ended and ambiguous. Um, and so it's gonna say, hey, like, can you host this website? And you probably know there's a million different ways to do that. You can create a EC2 instance and host it on that. If it's a static website, you can host it on S3. Uh, you could host it using containers. There's a ton of different options and a game day allows you to use your expertise to um, kind of play however you want. There's no one right answer and the path that each game day participant takes is totally up to them. Um, so to kind of summarize, a game day is a completely hands-on opportunity to learn about AWS best practices, new AWS services, and AWS architecture patterns. Yeah, so um, there are a ton of game days all about different areas and services. We have microservice game days, migration game days, sustainability game days, and a ton of security game days. You guys are just playing one of many. Hey, Maya, um, what's your favorite game day? Do you have a favorite? Oh, that's a great question. I think my favorite one is Unicorn Polo League, um, where you, yeah, you kind of um, use different AWS services to like build and train unicorns, and then different teams compete in polo matches with their unicorns. Oh, that sounds cool. I got to do that. Try that one out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a really fun one. Um, so, what to expect on the day? Um, so what's going to happen is that we're all going to join a Twitch stream, kind of like this one. Um, hopefully we won't have any technical difficulties on the actual day of the event, but we're going to all join a Twitch stream and your moderators, Keisha, James, and I, we're all going to give a presentation and intro kickoff. And it's basically going to be a condensed version of today's webinar. So you don't have to take notes today. Um, you're going to get a lot of this information again. We just want to make sure you're well prepared. Um, and then after the intro kickoff, we're going to assign you into teams of four. So you're going to be split up and you're going to meet three new teammates. Um, it's going to be a really great chance to network, meet new people, and really bring different strengths to the table and collaborate. So we're really excited about that. Um, after we get into teams, the game day starts and you'll have about three hours to complete four challenges. Um, in the simulated scenario is that y'all are new hires at a fictional startup called Unicorn Rentals. And Unicorn Rentals is in trouble. All of their infrastructure is poorly architected, isn't securely configured, or is just straight up broken. And as Unicorn Rentals' newest and brightest employees, it's your job to figure out how to fix it. Um, you'll work with your new team to complete challenges and get Unicorn Rentals back up and running. Hey, Maya, do you have to, from RN Techie, uh, they're wondering, do you have to know about a AWS to be successful on the game day? Like, what's the kind of ex expectation of skill or knowledge, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we are not expecting anyone to be AWS experts. Um, it's totally fine to kind of come in at a base level and learn. Um, we will have AWS supporters like me um, there on the day to answer any questions you have and help you through everything. And you'll also have your three new teammates who will be able to share some expertise and help you work together. Um, yeah, so you'll work with your team to um, kind of address these challenges, um, get through them. And as you make changes in AWS, you'll get points. And that's where the kind of gamified competition level comes up. Each team will get points for the changes they make in the AWS console. And those points add up. We'll have a leaderboard where you can track what team is getting what points. And at the end of the competition, we'll have some winning teams. Um, and they will definitely get prizes, definitely get bragging rights. And we'll also get the chance to come and talk to us and share like what they did that worked really well and why they think that they pulled ahead from the rest of the pack. Um, so it's a really fun experience. <laughs> 
Yeah, we can also bring uh, we can also go ahead and bring them on the uh, stream too at the end if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I see a few questions in the chat. Um, are we assigned teams? Yes, you'll be assigned teams um, on the day of the event. It will be totally random, so you'll get to meet some new people. Um, will you get points if the chain has a negative outcome? You might get points taken away. Um, <laughs> But yes, and no need to set up an AWS account in advance of the game day. You'll be using our AWS accounts that will provision for you that has the infrastructure already set up that you need to fix or change or whatever. So there are AWS accounts that will help you log into. And I'll talk about how we'll do that later in the stream. Um, so yeah, just to wrap up, by participating in a game day, you'll get free hands-on console experience. You'll get to address some real world scenarios in a low risk environment. You'll learn about AWS best practices and get some help from AWS experts. And you'll practice collaborative problem solving. And most importantly, you'll win some cool prizes, hopefully. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna hand it over to Keisha then. <laughs> Hey, before we jump in, let's let's try and hit some of these. Uh, there's a lot of questions coming in. First of all, we got <laughs> Goose. Uh, how are we going to assign the teams? Is it going to be mixed skill sets? Is it going to be random? Or how are we going to do that? Do yeah, know? so team assignment will be totally random. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but we do have, if you do have a team that's super new to AWS, we do have dedicated AWS supporters, so you'll get a helping hand. Um, we're not going to leave anyone hanging. Cool. Um, also, and also, if any of these questions we're going to address later, just go ahead and cut them, cut me off, and then say, "Hey, we'll hit them when we come up." Uh, yeah. Are there going to be a list of any resources to check out before or after the That's AWS? That's coming up. That's okay. coming up. Just hold on. <laughs> yeah. And is this the link we're going to use tomorrow? Um, the actual event is next week. Yeah. Um, and we will be, I think, using the AWS Game Day. Hopefully. <laughs> we yeah. should be. Yeah, we need to well, we'll verify that before because that, that shouldn't have happened. Again, sorry. <laughs> Camera yeah, on. and our, our game day is Wednesday, September 14th. So for those of you that are on here, hopefully you've registered and gotten a registration email. So you're good to go. You'll get more information, of course, as closer to the event. But this is just to kind of give you a heads up on what, what to expect. You guys get a sneak peek at things that not everybody who didn't attend will get. Any other questions, James? Or are we good to move forward? Uh, are there any other stages after the 14th? Like, is there, what's, is there any follow-ups or anything like that? That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. But it's we always have more day game event. days. Yeah. We always have more. So, um, yeah, just tell your whoever your employers are or whoever your partners are. They would say that was the greatest thing ever. We would love to do it a hundred more times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So moving forward, let's give you all a kind of insight on what security on AWS looks like. We understand there. Are some participants who are new to AWS or new to securing their workloads on AWS. So this is going to help you with that. Um, let's dive into what security looks like on AWS. So at AWS, security is our number one priority. Um, at AWS, we have our AWS cloud architected to be one of the most flexible and secure cloud of the environments. We operate with a shared responsibility model, which means we at AWS take care of security of the cloud. This includes the physical infrastructure, the facilities, the actual compute and building blocks. And in doing so, all of AWS customers inherit the best practices of policies, architecture, and processes that have already been built in to satisfy the needs of our most secure, sensitive security customers. You as a customer take care of security in the cloud, which means you secure your workloads and applications that you deploy onto the cloud. This allowing you the flexibility to put more emphasis on security of sensitive data and adjust in areas where you have less concern. Next Wednesday's WESIS game day will provide the 350 registered participants 
insight into exactly what security in the cloud means and how to ensure that your workloads on AWS are secure and configured. Reminder, in our shared responsibility model, AWS is responsible for security of the cloud and our customers are responsible for security in the cloud. Moving forward, let's do a quick knowledge check. Let's see where your knowledge is regarding the AWS shared security model. Hopefully you were paying attention. <laughs> you all think about the answers and put them in the chat. I'm gonna give you different scenarios and you just answer what you think it is. Is it AWS's responsibility or is it customer's responsibility? Okay, we're gonna start. Configuring the security group rules that determine which ports are open on an EC2 Linux instance. Is that AWS responsibility or is that customer responsibility? Okay, James, I can't see the chat, so you're gonna have to give me kind of a synopsis. It's a lot of customers. Like I think a few people customer. said customer, just, just a couple. <laughs> Not, you know, like like everyone, pretty much. Well, if it's a few, a uh, lot, everyone's a customer, then they are ex exactly correct. That is the customer responsibility to configure their security group rules. Next question. Y'all are good at this. We might have to make it more difficult. Implement multi-factor authentication for all data center staff. Ooh. Is that AWS's responsibility or is that customer's responsibility? That looks like a trick question almost to me, I think. <laughs> There's a key word in there. That's, yeah, that, that one word. <laughs> this one, this one's a little different. This one's almost 50, 50, 60, 40. Looks like oh, wow. AWS is a little bit ahead. Yeah, in the chat, but it's it's pretty close. All right, well, the winning answer is indeed AWS. Ding, ding, ding. AWS is responsible for all da our data centers. So our customers don't have to go into our data center and flip the switch and, and push some buttons. It's all AWS handled. <laughs> all right, good. Let's see if y'all can get this one. This one might be a little bit more challenging, this next one. Patching the guest operating system with the latest security patches. Patching the guest OS. Is that AWS responsibility uh, or is that customer responsibility? Um, most people are saying customer in the chat. There's a few AWS, but the general consensus is customer. Well, then they are correct, but also, it, they are correct. Um, it is the customer's responsibility, but if the customer chooses to utilize AWS's managed services, where AWS takes care of all the patching and, and providing the serverless infrastructure, then that would be AWS's responsibility. But if you're not going serverless, you're not using the AWS managed services to take care of all that heavy lifting, then it is the customer's responsibility. And when you say like AWS managed, another word we use for that is serverless. That means like things like we don't have to take care of like say how big our virtual machines are or how much space our, you know, our uh, database have has. Is that correct? Something like that. Like AWS yeah. kind of handles that in the background for us. Yep, we have database services as well. AWS handles all of that on the back end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lambda is a good one. Lambda is mm -hmm. perfect for. A perfect example of serverless stealthy. Yeah. Good. All right. A couple more questions since I threw a hard one at y'all. Let me see if y'all can get this next one. Securing the internal network inside the AWS data centers. Ooh. Is that an AWS responsibility or customer responsibility? Ding, ding, ding. We should have had that. Jeopardy countdown. Do, 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 yeah, do. right. There won't be any licensing issues with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, James, what are our answers showing us? All right. What do we got? Um, 
Most people saying AWS, it looks like. You are correct. <laughs> you in a car, you in a car now. Um, and that keyword is data centers. With utilizing AWS, our customers don't have to do anything with the data centers. AWS takes care of all of that, including securing the internal network. All right, good. We'll do a couple more. Managing the facilities of the AWS data center. Hmm. hmm, I wonder what the answer is. After the last couple, this seems one this one seems a little easy. Yeah, everyone's saying AWS pretty much. Awesome. Look at them yeah. paying attention yeah. and knowing their stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from WeSys members. <laughs> Our final knowledge check question for this. AWS responsibility or customer responsibility? Setting encryption for objects stored in S3 buckets. Encryption, that's something our security members will know about. What do we got? Uh, customer, customer, customer. Customer is responsible. And customer is indeed responsible, setting up encryption. And if they have a really crackpot security team, they will tell, make sure you have encryption on all of your buckets. <laughs> Good job, everybody. What is an S3 bucket? Well, you'll, you'll learn about those. Those are basically, I love that word, basically. They're considered mm -hmm. like data lakes. They're just places where you put objects. You put text files, you put pictures, you put videos, you put... Anything that can be an object, you can throw into an S3 bucket. Think of it as like hard drive, but not necessarily a hard drive. It's literally just a bucket. You just. Yeah. All right. Any more questions we need to address, James, or are we good to move forward? Uh, it looks like we can. Yeah, it looks like we can go forward. All right. Thank you, guys. So next up. Oh, oh real, real quick. Mm -hmm. Are the security workshops free? So the AWS security workshops, um, we uh, do have security works. We have workshops at aws.workshops.com. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if all of the security ones, workshops are free to attend. Uh, okay. This one, what is this? Let me look. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, uh, we can look that up for you, Cringe, yeah. and uh, yeah, and we can get back to you about that. I know typically AWS provides workshops for customers, and but you, the customers will be responsible for the resources that they spin up and the billing that comes along with that if it's outside of the free tier. So. Yeah, like the workshops are free, but the resources aren't. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's talk about AWS security best practices. These are not only security, these are not the only set security best practices, but these are the ones that are going to be focused on the Secure Legends game day next Wednesday at 12 to 4 p.m. Central Time that you will get to implement and manage. Number one, and of course, I'm speaking to WESIS members, so I'm sure a lot of you all know about these already but just giving you a hint, hint, what to look for at next week's um, Secure Legends game day. Temporary credentials. Every static credential has the potential to be found, stolen, and copied. So don't use static credentials. Best practices is to require identities to dynamically acquire temporary credentials and then rotate those credentials periodically. Traceability and logging. Enable traceability so you can monitor, alert, and audit actions and changes to your environment in real time. Integrate log and metric collections with systems to automatically investigate and take action. Data protection. Protect your data in transit and at rest. Classify your data into sensitivity levels and use mechanisms such as encryption tokenization and access control where appropriate. Next best practice is automated processes. 
Automate your security best practices. Establish secure baselines and templates for your security mechanisms that are tested and validated as part of your build pipelines and process. And then use tools and automation to test and validate all of the security controls continuously. For example, scan your items such as machine images and infrastructure as code templates for security vulnerabilities, irregularities, and drift. Least privilege access. Make sure to give the to employ the principle of least privilege access. Only give identities exactly the permissions they need to perform the responsibilities. And then enforce separation of duties with appropriate authorization for each interaction with your AWS resource. Because security is our top priority at AWS, we have an abundance of services to contribute to security in the areas of identity and access management, detective controls, infrastructure protection, data protection, incident response, and compliance. Many of these services you see on the screen are going to be in September 14th, game day participants. For example, and, we'll, and you'll get hands-on free practice in utilizing these services. I'd like to highlight, for example, I, AWS IAM and Amazon Macy, because you will definitely, hint, hint, get to see them in next Wednesday's game day. IAM is under identity and access management. With IAM, customers can specify who or what can access services and resources in AWS, in addition to centrally manage fine-grained permissions and analyze access to refined permissions across AWS. With IAM, customers can set, verify, and right-size permissions on the journey to lease privilege. The next service I wanna highlight is Amazon Macy. That is under data protection. Amazon Macy is a fully managed data security and data privacy service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and protect your sensitive data in AWS. Amazon Macy automates the discovery of sensitive data at scale and lowers the cost of protecting your data. For example, Macy prov automatically provides an inventory of Amazon S3 buckets, including a list of unencrypted buckets, publicly accessible buckets, and buckets shared with AWS accounts outside of those you have defined in your AWS organizations. Any questions from there? Uh, no, not at the moment. Uh... Good. I'm, I'm kind of handling them as they roll in, uh, unless there's something for you, yeah. Okay, thank you. So we'll just move on. Let's do another knowledge check. This is quick. Um, and want to see kind of where you guys are at, where you all are at with our AWS services and your knowledge of our security services. These are not the only services um, in AWS regarding security, we had a whole bunch of lists, but we are gonna focus on some six key ones that you'll see next Wednesday, 12 to 4 p.m. Central Time for our AWS Game Day Secure Legends. Okay, and again, we need participation in the chat because that helps us know what you need assistance with. So we'll start. What is the AWS service, does anybody know? that collects security data from across AW accounts and services. And it also analyzes security trends and identifies the highest priority security issues. Which service does that? Oh, I see someone got the right answer already. Did that? Oh, wow. I would expect nothing less from our WeSys members. <laughs> yeah, they're better than me for sure. Like, <laughs> I, I could throw out a couple answers, I think, that exists so far yeah. i've got what do we got security hub inspector cloud trail guard duty uh yeah yeah that's a lot well yeah. the correct answer is indeed security hub security, security hub. hub yes it does collect security data but other some of those other resources that were named as well collect security data as well 
All right, next one, next service. What AWS service is used to easily rotate, manage, and retrieve database credentials, API keys, and other secrets through their lifestyle, life cycle? What do we got? We have KMS is one answer. We have Secrets Manager. It's kind of a split between those two, it looks like. Ah. I see why, because they saw the keys in there, but the correct answer is Secrets Manager. So you can easily rotate and manage your credentials and other secrets through the life cycle. All right, next one. What AWS resource do you use? And I think I heard this before in one of the answers. To track changes to resource configurations. Ooh, I think I know this one. <clears throat> well, this one's a little coming a little slower. We got config <laughs> and cloud trail, configuration manager, conf yeah, config manager. Mm -hmm. A couple well, cloud trails. Correct. Yeah. Okay. AWS config does track changes to resource configurations. CloudTrail tracks who makes the changes, but um, config tracks the configurations for each resource. Good, some good answers too. These are difficult, some challenging questions. There's so many services out there. <laughs> Next one, which AWS service identifies and alerts you to sensitive data such as personally Identifiable Information, PII, and S3. I'll give you a hint. I talked about it before recently. Oh, they know it. It's coming in. They all got the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, they're paying attention. Awesome. Oh, actually, these Mises members, they are security focused, so I am not surprised that they're getting a lot of these security questions correct. And they are correct. Amazon Macy, yes. All right, we'll do I a couple more. I was wondering how they named some of these. What, what was <laughs> yeah. the, uh, yeah, what was it? Macy was someone's like granddaughter or something? Yeah, yeah. who is Macy? <laughs> yeah, or Athena. Mm. Athena, I know, is a Athena. god in Greece, <laughs> but. All right, and this was the answer. This was the service I heard somebody talk about already or put in the chat earlier. What AWS service discovers and troubleshoots security and operational issues by capturing a comprehensive history of user and service actions. User and service actions. Do, do, do. I don't think we have a violation if I hum the Jeopardy theme song. You you do you do you. I, I won't. <laughs> you don't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got we got Cloud Trail and a couple Cloud Watches in there. They cloud them. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, some of these are very like I said earlier. Some of these are not the only services that do them, but just the ones we're focusing on for the game day. But Cloud Trail, AWS Cloud Trail, is the correct answer. So if you did if you put Cloud Watch, you're close, very close, because it does capture actions um but the key word in here is user action user and service action mm, yeah. all right our last one fully automate which aws services service fully automates release processes from end to end starting from the source repository through build test and deployment i can think of two things what do we got? Code, code pipeline, pipeline, code build, code, build, code deploy, <laughs> a <lot of> code. <laughs> and <laughs> they know their stuff. So the correct answer is code pipeline, and it does include from end to end. So code build and code commit and all the other answers are in that process, but from end to end, it's the pipeline, code pipeline. And so these six services, you will get to have hands-on experience for free next Wednesday 
at 12 to 4 Central Time in our Secure Legends game day. <laughs> okay. So moving on, now that we're done with the knowledge checks and you guys, you all did awesome. I'm so, so glad and so excited about what next week, next Wednesday at 1 p 12 to 4 p.m. Central will be like. Um, gonna see, we have a lot of challenging teams up at the top, I can tell. But we're done with the knowledge check, and I can, I've already determined that we have a lot of knowledgeable people here regarding AWS and AWS security. And even if you don't have a lot of knowledge and you did not have a lot of answers to those questions, that's all right. We're going to put you in teams of four. It's not an individual um, competition. It's a teamwork, and you'll get to learn from others and, and have a great time. So the beautiful bar part about game day is the working in team. So you don't need one person to know everything in order for the team to be successful. They work together and they combine their knowledge. So let's learn more about the technical parts of our Secure Legends game day. So as I said several times before, the game day you'll be playing is Wednesday, September 14th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, noon Central, or 11 a.m. Pacific time. And this particular game day, the Secure Legends game day, was developed for reInvent 2021, which, a, which is AWS's annual conference. And so it is called the Secure Legends game day. The challenges in this game day are intended to simulate real world security issues, such as malicious attacks and other vulnerabilities. To address the challenges, you'll get the opportunity to use several AWS security services free of charge. <clears throat> For our game day participants, we have quite a few things that need fixing. We have credentials issues, we have leaky data, we have insecurity, in infrastructure security flaws, and we have some applications that just need tightening up. Our automation pipeline is also broken. Let's take a look at some of the individual quests that you and your team will be working on next week. That sounds like a nightmare. I don't want to work at your company. Good grief. <laughs> That's why they pay the security folk the big bucks. I guess. <laughs> All right, one quest is called credentials management. The scenario is our user credentials and access keys are insecure and we're experiencing issues. Please fix them and make sure it doesn't happen again. And so the services that you'll be using to complete this quest would be AWS IAM, AWS Config, and AWS CloudTrail. Hmm. Our next quest, or a second quest, is data protection and classification. Protected data is being leaked through our Amazon S3 bucket due to bad security. Please use Amazon Macy to find the data that has been leaked. So you'll be using Macy, Amazon S3, and CloudTrail again. And for these key services, Keisha, are these going to be like kind of uh, listed along with those quests so that people without any experience kind of at least know where the jumping off point is? Yeah, well, you'll get some uh, not only the scenario information, but you'll get some um, feedback or some hints and, and options that you can use to find out more information. Uh, I'm going to talk about that a little later, actually. So hold okay. tight. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't want to spill the beans. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this um, this this PowerPoint will be available to this pr presentation will be available to the WESIS members who've registered, so they can always, you know, use this. It kind of gives them a little bit of an advantage for those compared to those who didn't show up at the webinar to know which services you'll be using. So, great question. The next quest, our third quest, is forensic analysis. The scenario there is some of our instances have been crypto locked. 
Please help get them out of circulation and secure them so we can figure out what happened. And you'll be using A Amazon EC2, IAM, and auto scaling groups. And then our final quest, vulnerability management. The scenario is that our code is no longer being built and the pipeline is reporting all kinds of errors. That's a security, security professional's worst nightmare. Please get our pipeline back in the green and get our container images built. And the services you'll be using are AWS Code Pipeline, AWS Code Build, AWS Security Hub, and Amazon ECR, which is Elastic Container Repository. All right. So you all gonna have fun. I played this game day a few times. Oh, it's challenging, but it's so interesting and great to when you're with a team and you can bounce ideas off of them. I'm gonna kind of turn it over to Maya so she can talk about the other aspects of game day. Unless there's no questions, Maya, off you go. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about game day logistics and get kind of into the granularity of what to expect on the day. Um, so the event day agenda is gonna kind of go like this. Um, on the day of the event, we'll have an introduction call. It'll be on Twitch and hopefully we won't have the technical difficulties we had today. Um, but it's basically a con condensed version of today. So if you didn't miss anything important. We're gonna go over it again. And we'll also introduce you to your new company, Unicorn Rentals, give you a little new hire orientation, introduce you to the CEO and CTO. Um, and then after that intro call, we'll separate into teams. And like I said before, those teams are gonna be randomly distributed teams of four. So you'll get to meet some new people with some different expertise and work together with them. After we separate into teams, you're gonna access the game day dashboard, which I'm gonna walk you through in um, a second. And that game day dashboard will give you the link to a chime room where you're gonna work together with your team. And you'll stay in that chime room with your team while you work on the game day. Um, and then if you need any help from AWS supporters, you can request help and a supporter will jump into that chime room, answer any of your questions, walk you through anything, um, and then pop out and let you keep working. We'll also have AWS supporters going in between the chime rooms every 20 to 30 minutes to check on you just make sure you don't have any questions and you're not like just hacking away at a problem. Um, so they'll check in and see if you need any help um, throughout the day also. And then after that time where you have the time to work on the challenges, we'll stop the game, join the Twitch stream again, do some closing remarks, some feedback, give you guys the chance to tell us what you thought about the game day, what you liked, what you didn't like. And then we'll announce the top three winners, give them their prizes, welcome them onto the Twitch stream, ask them what they thought about the game day and why they think they you know, pulled ahead from the rest of the pack. Um, so that'll be what to expect throughout the entire day. And so now I'm gonna walk you through how to get logged in to the console. And it's not a walkthrough, um, you'll get to do this on the day of the event. Um, this is just to kind of let you know what to expect. So. Once we're on that Twitch stream, we're going to give you a URL and you're going to go into, um, you're going to click that URL and it will bring you to this Who Are You page. Um, and there will be a team hash that, or a hash that you get, put that hash in, and then you'll click the button to continue through. Who am I? That's a question I ask myself every day. <laughs> yeah, pretty philosophical. Um, I see a question that's, is there a particular order for solving the quests? And no, you can do it in any order. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to decide how to do it in a little bit. Um, so once you um, get past that Who Are You page, you're going to be on this page, which is the team dashboard. This is kind of your control center for how you access everything. Um, so. On the next slide, you can see that the first thing that you're gonna do once you get on this team dashboard and you're with your team is set your team name. This is like priority number one. <laughs> um, because if you don't have a team name, you're not gonna get points. You're not gonna be on the scoreboard. You're not gonna win. Um, so set your team name, make it something funny make it unicorn related maybe. Um, we do also have a prize for best team name, I believe. So be get creative. Um, and then next. 
The next button on this console is the AWS console button. If you click this button, it will give you a link to log into the AWS console. And this link will log you into the AWS account for your team. This is an account that we're gonna set up and we're paying for. And your team will all have access to the same account and the unicorn rentals infrastructure will already be set up in this account. Um, and so this will be the infrastructure that Oh no, okay, can you all hear me? Sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, we can hear you. Just like your microphone is either you got, it sounds like a bracelets or a necklace or it's rubbing against your hair. I don't know, something. Okay, sorry, I'll hold it out here. <laughs> there we go, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I, I talk with my hands, your hair. Yeah. so maybe that's it. Okay, <laughs> a little technical difficulties, sorry. Um, no, yeah, okay. so. That AWS console <laughs> link will allow you to log into the console and it will also give you access to the console through the CLI. So if you're used to working it, um, with AWS through the terminal, you can do that there. There's also a button for SSH keys. So if you need to SSH into any EC2 instances, those keys will be found also in this console. And then at the bottom of that dashboard, if you scroll all the way down, there'll be a section that says your team name and then outputs. Um, and so here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remember that table number and you're gonna copy that password and then click that CloudFront link. Um, and then that CloudFront link will take you to the sign-in page for the actual game day. Perfect, okay. So here you're gonna put that table number in and paste that password and sign in. And then this is the AWS game day console. This is like your mission control. Um, here you ha have access to the scoreboard, you have access to your team chime call link, you have access to the presentation stream, um, you can get notif we might send out notifications, um, and so you can see the notifications here. And then if we go to the next slide, Nice, okay. Then there will be the list of quests. And so we've already gone through the four quests you'll be playing through. Um, and so those quests will be listed here. This is a screenshot from a different game day, um, but there will be four quests there. And once you click on the quests, you'll see this explainer page that you can see right now. And so we'll have quest status available and you can start the quest. And there'll also be important information about each quest. So you can see that each quest has an average number of time it takes to complete and an estimated difficulty from zero to five. And so it, maybe if you have a team member who's not super familiar with AWS, they should tackle the quest with a difficulty of one. And if you've got someone who's like AWS God, they're in the console every day, give them the quest that starts with, or that's a five difficulty. Um, so you can really work together with your team to use your strengths. Another important piece of information is the quest information, which has all AWS services used and AWS use cases. So you can really choose to work on a quest that works with services you're familiar with and works with your strengths. Um, yeah, so I see the question, do all team members have access to the AWS console slash dashboard? Yes, all four team members will have access to the console and dashboard and will have the access to the same AWS account. So you will all be working on the same infrastructure. And yeah, you don't have to work on the same quest at the same time. You should split up and work separately. That way you can maximize your points. But yeah, or, or you can work together. It's totally up to whatever's whatever you want. But yeah, so that's the end of like our talk about logistics. This is your time to ask us any questions you have about anything we talked about today or anything we haven't talked about that you're still wondering about. You can just put in the chat, well, we need Chime. You should be able to just use the Chime um, web browser app. Um, you shouldn't have to download it, but you can download it if you want, it is optional. Hey, Maya, for people who aren't familiar with Chime, can you give a kind of synopsis of what that is? And how yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so Chime is Amazon's video conferencing software. Um, it's just like Zoom, kind of. It, it's a competitor to Zoom, um, but we do use it. Um, and so we ha it, there's a web-based um, Chime and also a application you can download onto your computer. You can use either of those. 
Um, the way that you'll collaborate with your team is that you'll get a Chime link, just like a Zoom link, and you can click on that Chime link and it will bring you to a Chime room. And all four team members will have the same link to the same Chime room. So that's how you'll collaborate with your team. We really recommend that you stay in this Chime room when collaborating because the AWS supporters know which Chime room you're in. So if you request help, that's how they're gonna hop in and help you. Uh, what are the prizes? TBD, we'll let you know on the day of the event. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll announce those with the winners. Um, when will we be notified about teams? You'll get your teams on the day of the event. It's completely randomized. So you'll, you'll make some new friends. Yeah. What else we got here? When, when, we, when will we be notified about the teams? That'll be just automatic. Like when you log in, you'll kind of see like when you go into the chime room that you're assigned, you'll see who's there, it looks like. I think that's how yes. it works. Yeah, so that's yes. the way it works. Um, Surprise. <laughs> and so I saw a concern about what if a team member is not active or leaves in the middle. So only people who join the presentation stream will get put in a team. So if someone registered and they're too busy to come, they won't get put in a team. We'll only have active um, people in the team. Um, any advice for us who know little or nothing about AWS services? We sent out a no before you go PDF. Um, we coordinated and asked WESIS to send that out. If you didn't get it, I will ask them to resend it to all the registered participants. We also have a support staff of AWS actual uh, solutions architects. So uh, if, yeah, then literally you get a, on your team dashboard, you basically get a help button and you can be like help and then someone will all descend upon you into your room, probably more than you expect. Like there'll be my three, like three of us. And then uh, we can help guide you or fill in any kind of gaps, skill gaps to, uh, you know, so you don't get stuck for, if you general rule, don't spin your wheels. Like if you get stuck on something for a little while, go ahead and hit that help button. Like we're happy to help. Um, yes. Yeah, so the events four hours, the chime link will be given to you on the day of the event. Um, you'll get it from us. Um, Yeah. Um, That's pretty much it. <laughs> any other questions? Uh, yeah. I'm I have excited. a question. I have oh. a question. Are they excited about next Wednesday's game day from 12 p.m. Central to 4 p.m. Central? Four hours. Wow. I'm going to need to. Well, they're probably the playing for like <laughs> three hours the game day. And yeah, there's, there's fun events. There's going to be interviews. There's going to be, I think, maybe a little bit of trivia. Yeah, I see a lot of excitement. This is super fun. We're excited oh, to yeah. have y'all. Yeah. And word on the street is that we'll have some AWS recruiting people looking in on the game day, trying to see about our Oasis members. <laughs> awesome. Word on Main Street. It's going to be midnight download. for someone. Oh, sorry. I was reading the stream. That's Holy crazy. Cats. Don't be too sleepy. <laughs> That's dedication. Yeah, where are you from? Uh, Ilakia? Where are you? Uh, India? Or where, where are we at? I don't know time zones. I'm used to whenever we talk with people from India, it's usually eight hour. Yeah, it's usually yeah. an eight hour difference. So that's that's why I guess that. <laughs> yeah, or Australia too, isn't that pretty? Oh, are they eight hours too? They're close, seems Nine, like it. Something like that, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome, uh, yeah. Last, yeah, last call, anyone, before we wrap things up right now? Anyone? This is a fun group. Not only are yes. they with it on the security concepts, but they're very engaged. Keep that up on game day on oh, September sure. 14th. We'll actually have our Twitch open and 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 active too as well yeah yeah sorry about that again everyone uh appreciate you being flexible with everything yeah. uh yeah <laughs> anyway if that's yeah if that's all we got to go for then uh thank you all for attending keisha maya last words real quick three monitors is definitely fun. enough um you guys are a super fun audience we're super excited Woo! yes <laughs> yes please bring of course do, we recommend you do this on a computer um, not a tablet or anything like that. It'll be really difficult. Yeah. So 
a yeah. computer, multiple screens will help. But um, again, you're working together as a team. Make sure you have a mouse, uh, a mouse, not a mouse, a microphone, so that when you're communicating in the chime, your teammates can hear you. Is there a way to be sure that the video doesn't freeze while chat is active? Is my what, what's going on? Whose video? Am I freezing? What's going on here? Is that what we're talking about? Bow chain. When yeah. I've played game day before in Chime, most times we're on the video for a short time, and then the rest we're just talking and have video off as we we're furiously looking and clicking on links and stuff. So the video isn't as important as the audio. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you, everyone. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. And we will see you next week. Wednesday, September 14th, 12 p.m. Central to 4 p.m. Central. See All right, bye, everyone. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.